Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno, where we meet fighter, champion and legend Joe Calzaghe for his film, Mr Calzaghe. It's his choice to be a boxer, not me. He knew himself how good he was. Boxing was my way of escaping and having self-worth. What an inspiring story. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, wow, well, it's, it's finally here, you know, it's um, been uh, two years in, in the making and um, I'm so happy that, you know, we're finally, finally here, you know, um, it's been quite emotional, emotional year for me, obviously my grandfather passing away, who was a massive inspiration to me, he's the original Joe Calzaghe, Giuseppe Calzaghe, and yeah, I, I like to think that, you know, people, even if you're not a boxing fan, can really sort of connect with the film because it's, um, it's an underdog story, a real life one. And, you know, to, to, to come in, actually, I forget a lot of the fights myself. I started boxing when I was that big, with the really bad hairstyles I had. I never went to a hairdresser since I was 17. My mum cut with her with a pot on my head. So I was like, ooh, is that me? So to actually watch yourself in 19 minutes um, of, of a 25-year career is, is quite surreal. And, and it's quite emotional, you know, as well. And um, I'm, I'm very proud. I think Vaughan, the directors, did a great job sort of showing the connection between myself and my dad. Was on also obviously my trainer, friend, sometimes pain in the butt. But I'm sure I used to be pain in the butt to him. And to me, it was a great trainer. We went on, you know, against all odds and, and did what we did, you know, so I'm very proud. Well, I was, what I was going to say was what came across from me and how I related to the story is I'm half Spanish. So um, this whole, the, the whole family unit, you can all argue like cat and dog, but you know what? We, we stick together like. Exactly, and that's the thing because a lot of uh, father-son relationships don't work, in, especially in boxing. But we'd argue every single day. We were some mind couple. But you know, him being obviously being Sardinian, Italian, and my jeans rubbing off on me, we'd have an argument. We knew exactly what to say to get right on my nerves, and we wouldn't speak for like half a day. And then he'd say, "What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem?" And then we, I'd get in the gym and I beat up some sparring partner, I look great. So he knew exactly what to say. And the thing is, when you when you have a boxing fight, you can have a strategy before every fight, but when your back's against the wall, you've only got that one minute break between rounds. And you can say, do this, do that, but it's the energy and it, it's the passion that you have to get across to the, to the you know, obviously the boxer, to make him realize, listen, you need to start changing something. And my dad was the only person to get that to me. I was pretty chill out, guys. So with his, obviously with his passion and everything else, Plus, he be my dad. And, and there's a trust there, isn't there, b between the two of you. So I would imagine as well that you have to be very careful with the person who you entrust your story to. So with working with Vaughan, what was that like? How did you develop a relationship with him before he started to roll camera? Yeah, well, I've always been quite sort of private. So um, I, I've never really gone and out there to look for like fame and glory and everything else. You know what I mean, I'm happy living back in Wales. I've lived in London for, for like five years. And then Vaughan approached me and um, I just love the passion that he sort of and what direction he was going with it because everybody knows that you're undefeated. It's like, well, what's the story? He won't be there like I won 46 fights. Yeah, it's not me. You know what I mean? Um, but it comes to when you break down the story, where you come from, your school, um, obviously my sisters, my, my beautiful boys, and my mum my, my and dad. When, it, when he got that to me, that, then I'm, I'm proud, you know, to show that part of my life that nobody's, nobody's seen and that is the reason that I became under fever so long, you know, who I am is because of my family, so I, I just want to get that message across. Introducing Fighting Pride of Newbridge, Wales, Joe Calzaghe! You've got an open class boy there. That means very special. Now, what I found very relatable with this story is that I'm half Spanish. My dad's okay, Spanish, okay. my mum's English. I'm a sassery, so I didn't yet. Yeah. So, yeah, you get it, yeah. So, and, and so there is, there's this... The family unit is so important and it really comes across very strongly in this film, doesn't it? Just how important it is that you all support each other. Of course, of course, important is. I mean, lots of family in Britain probably, I don't know, but um, we're Sardinians, right? From my heart, it's Sardinian, right? Italian type, my life. The family is so important to us. It doesn't matter what it's like in life. You can have a billionaire, you can be in here. It doesn't matter. The family is the most important thing. And that's where I think we created, um, you know, Joe's my only son, of course. I've got two daughters, they're beautiful, you know. So, but the family is so orientated and bond is a bond, right? I'm 66, 
John's really quiet, but we always meet each other every day. We talk of this. It wasn't just boxing. It was about boxing, about boxing. It's the family too. We eat together, we talk together, we love each other, the whole family. It's something very special, very special, where you cannot get every day, every way. Pardon? Very, very true. No, you can know something. You know, I was brought up Sunday. I know I was, brought, I was two years old when I when I was, when I went to Bedford, living in Bedford with my father, of course. You know, but my father, my mother, although the distance, they were they passed away. Yeah, I was to go every year. I was to go or, as soon as I could go to Sunday. Yeah, see my dad. Now my dad passed away, but he's still there. My mother passed away, but there I still go to Sunday. The same house they live in, I bought. I stay. Nothing changed in the house. Nothing. They raised made the family home. And I think something special is that, that Joe is not about boxing, it isn't about boxing, it's nothing to do with that. In boxing is the way we, we gel together, it's because we gel as a family and not as individuals. And that's my wife's there, you know, you see, they all, all, so boxing can be in the second part. But I had a great family, I developed them faster with my wife, Jackie. We made a fantastic wife. And, and with regards to making this documentary, you've been so instrumental in, in looking after Joe. Obviously, putting him in the hands of a filmmaker that is going to tell this story truthfully must have been very important too. Yeah, of course there is, of course there is. I mean, people can't relate the passion and honest and the love in boxing. They say, wow, you know, probably I'm probably the most unique father at boxing, right, has been. Because when Joe boxed, I was not his father. I divorced him. Simple as that. And Joe would know that he wasn't my dad. I wasn't into that dad. He knew that. That 12 hour, or whatever, was basically he was just a boxer. If he was respecting me as my father, I wouldn't train him. And that's where it worked. But Joe can divorce me immediately. He had nothing for me in the fight. He always saw me as a trainer, not a father. So when I said something to him, he believed it as a trainer, not our father. Joe's George been knocked down four times. He's still with him. There's no panic at me. Oh, my son gone down. Then none of that, none of that. Get up. That's what I said, get up. <laughs> Simple as that. He said, because he knew already, in his own mind, he knew already, that's a man that dad say, he know what he's saying. And so it's that reason, that's the way he gelled. I think that's the problem is there. There's no fear in us. I was so confident about him, and he's so confident I know what to do about it. That's how Joe so what it's just so together. And that I think will never happen again. Joe Kalzaki, he really got something going for him. Superb flurry of punches. This is what I want. Joe gave me the power this year back and be a trainer. People think gonna see what Joe Kalzaki is all about. It was stressful for him as well. It's not like training any other fight, he trained his son. He chose to go to war. I chose to be with him. Congratulations with a wonderful Thank film. You. Thank you. As well. can, can I ask how you first became at attached to the project? How did it come to fruition? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I run a, a production company and a finance company. We were looking for films to do that over a certain sort of size and scale and that had a heart to them. And I wanted, I was set up to direct another one. And uh, we got a call to say we've had done some business with, uh, sort of with Joe and Lots of people want to make the Joe Calzaghi story. What do you think? How do you feel about it? And as I say, I'm a Welshman. I'm about the same age. Uh, I was like, okay, well, you're talking. You're asking me if I want to make a film about one of my sporting heroes. The answer is yes. So uh, one look into it uh, on Wikipedia, and it's just like a story that is stranger than than fact. You know, <laughs> it really is. So we realised we could make a proper movie, and it was just a case of whether we could uh, this quickly. Uh, make it as big as it deserved to be and so we decided to throw our sort of budget and everything out the window and just make the Joe Calzaghi movie which is what we did. At the very heart of this film is the father and son story I mean the relationship between them and the, and the camaraderie is, is something unique and very special isn't it? The relationship with Joe and Enzo is what the film is all about and there is I, I really can't think of any sports story any real sort of true story that we get to tell about something so weird and unique <laughs> as them because they are mental and they argue and they fight uh, but they love each other more than any father and son I've ever seen and it's it's really infectious to be around they're just crazy so we we could have made a very different film and just left the camera running on them <laughs> for hours probably made it in about a week and come back but there was the small matter of 20 years in the ring and uh, 
titles and an undefeated record to capture as well. So, uh, so yeah. Well, that's the other thing as well to, to, to really highlight is is just the, the tenacity of this man, isn't it? And and he's um, he's so self-aware, isn't he? And he knew how far he wanted to go with this career, really. And when he knew he, he was done and he, he'd had enough and he'd finished the ride, he knew it. Joe's, Joe's a really bright guy. And I think that's the hard thing about... Uh, having a boxing career like his, not least that, of course, you, Joe was striving to understand the business of it from the beginning. But, of course, you win your first world championship when you're a young man and you're a certain way. I filled out as well, so did Joe. But by the time Joe's like 14 and a half, 15 stone, he's still fighting at 12. You've got more injuries than you had. You've never fought without an injury. And, uh, you know, having the intelligence to decide there's a record too far, the record I have is enough. He's he's a he's a he's a legend for me in that respect. Right. Yeah. The other thing that I loved about watching the film as well is that I, I really know nothing about the story. But anybody that doesn't enjoy boxing can actually watch this film and be drawn in by by the drama of it. Really, I mean, I was sat literally like <laughs> biting my fingernails. Yeah. You know? Well, that's good. I mean, I, I we we knew from day one that. You know, financially, you can make a film for Joe Calzaghe fans. Financially, you can make a film for boxing fans. But we, you know, my background is in, in features, and I wanted to do justice to Joe's story because I love him to bits. But I needed to make a film that was for real film fans more than uh, an entertainment fans. And what I realised from day one was that I was making a heist movie. That if you met these two, and you thought, okay, they're going to go into the dirtiest sport in the world make millions and millions and millions, get right to the top and then walk away with all the American fans going, well, where did they go? You, you wouldn't have put money on it. <laughs> Joe, Enzo's a musician. He's not a fighter. And he's the one who's going to train Joe to do that. It's just unheard of. How does that happen? And it happened. And, and obviously you're responsible for telling their story, so there must have been an incredible trust between you and, and, and the family. The, the, the trust that Joe put in us, I mean, there's no way. I've achieved next to nothing in my life. There's no way I'd let anyone make a film about my life. And so, so very early on, Joe had to sort of realise that I was going to be honest and fair and that I was going to chat to him about anything. And the film's got lots of dark. It's not all people saying nice things about Joe. And, you know, he doesn't like some of the things that do get said, but it's very much my story of Joe's life. And I've tried to be as faithful to him as possible in, in doing that. And he understands that. And so we just became friends. I think we'll be friends the rest of our lives through it because he deserves it. That one came from nowhere. He's the one and only. Joe Calzaghe.